Okay, this is the time for another unboxing video and we have received this box and I'm going to open it now. Let's do this. Okay, let's open it. Mmm, lots of bubbles. Bubble wraps. So it must be something fragile. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Lots of bubble things. Oh, look at this. A lot of other bubbles. A box. Let me put aside the box, big box, and see what is this inside this black box. Okay, there is a barcode and there is a writing on the barcode. 3.5 millimeter, 70 degrees, uh, 1.25 inch to 2 point, uh, 8 element wide angle eyepiece. Oh, that's the eyepiece. So, it's one of the biggest 3.5 eyepieces I may have. Oh, nice to pack. Look at the strong box. And another bubble wrap inside here. Hmm. How can I open this? Oh, it's, a, it's like a pouch. Oof, a whopper, heavy. I have to bring the um, balance to measure the weight. So let me open it. Okay, I have rolled it out of the box. This is a little bag. Probably we can keep. This is the ice piece. Again, inside another uh, resealable bag. Let me open this one also. Okay, I've opened the seal. Now I remove this. Put it inside the bag. And now I'm holding the, oh look at that, that's a magnificent eyepiece. This is a big eyepiece. Let me remove the lens caps. Oof, look at the large eye lens. Let me remove the lower part. Oof, wow. Quite tight view here. Let me use a camera flash just to see what is inside. Okay, as you can see, there is a Barlow Smite lens inside. There is a screw that you can actually attach it to the eyepiece holder if you're using it with a one, one and a quarter inch. The eye lens is quite big. <coughs> And I suspect that this must be able to come up as a eye oh, guard. I have to twist it over. Yes, I twisted it. It comes around uh, half a centimeter or near one centimeter, eight millimeter up. It gives you a good uh, protection from the stray lights in the surrounding environments. I wonder, should I try it? It's very windy outside. I have the other versions of this, so just have a look. And first I will bring the digital scale and measure the weight. Okay, this is the digital scale, the unit is in the gram. I'm not putting this over the scale. Okay, the weight it shows is 693 grams. If I put the uh, caps, let me see what's the difference in weight. Okay, 702 grams. And if I change the unit, I'll show you how much it's in the ounce. 24 ounce, 75. That's around 25 ounce. So quite, quite heavy eyepiece. 
Okay. Closest eyepiece that I have to this three and a half millimeter fully multi coat the 70 degrees of sky watcher SWA eyepiece is this uh, um, super wide angle planetary um, TMB planetary 2 3.2 uh, millimeter eyepiece TMB optical planetary 2 uh, eyepiece. So I measure the weight of this. After showing you how it looks, the same very tiny field of view. I think this one is 62 degrees actually. If I'm not wrong, somewhere must be written. But anyway, this is the eyepiece, and I'm putting it on the so 158 grams, and with the both caps on, that will weight 160 grams. So, you know, how much is in the ounce? Uh, 5.95 that is around 6 ounce so quite one fourth one quarter of the weight of that so uh, now I'm going to make a direct comparison between the sizes of these two eyepieces as you can see um, this one is almost half the size of that, and the weight-wise, it's a quarter of the weight. The lens, eye lens part, in this one probably is around one third bigger than this. Is it one third correct? Yeah, or probably double the size. One third, I think. Um, the camera can be deceptive. I can confirm that it's around one third bigger. And uh, now I'm going to use them on a view, actually, just to see how they look on the actual telescope viewing uh, an object in the daylight. Okay, as a finder of the uh, eyepiece, I'm using this Celestron 30mm Ultima series. Quite old eyepiece, but very good quality. And i put it inside the focuser draw tube. Okay, I will find the object and then we go and look at it. Okay, I'm observing with the Skywatcher Pro, Pro Series ATED of a chromatic telescope. And this is the eyepiece and now we go to observe. This is the object we are looking at. replace this uh, 30 millimeter Ultima series Celestron eyepiece with the TMB planetary 3.2 millimeter one. A sharp decrease in the focal length and magnification increase also significantly. This is the 3.2 millimeter TMB planetary 2 and now I'm going to observe. The wind is blowing the fruit. Three point two millimeter sky watch, uh, super wide angle TMB optical planetary two. I'm going to three point five millimeter super wide angle SWA sky watcher, seventy degrees. This is sixty two degrees wide uh, view, and this is the seventy degrees. So I will change it, but I'll put it. We'll put it in the two inch focuser. Putting it in the 2 inch focuser, I have to remove this screw. Okay, I will do it now. Okay, I have now removed the screw and it can fit into the 2 inch focuser. Quite heavy, so I have to readjust the balance of the telescope. The piece neatly sits in the 2 inch focuser and I'm going now to show you how it looks. As you can see, the image looks brighter. The colors are more vibrant. Is it? I think the view is exceptionally good.
I think this is a good IQ. Seriously. Okay, in a comparison with me, between these two IQs, I think that uh, I prefer the Skywatcher 3.5mm one, 70 degrees field of view. Uh, this one is also good. I never use it much because of the restrictions that you could see. And now I think probably I found something that I can actually use more. So, which one is best? I think the IP to the uh, right is the better one. And this is the light condition at this time that I was making this one. 